give God some glory right now. Break every chain in our lives, Lord. Break every chain in our home, oh God. Break every chain in our mind, oh God. Break every chain yes. that the opposition is trying to hook us up to, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask you right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, to break all the future chains, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Break the chains of America, God, in the name of Jesus. Break the chains of the community, God, in the name of Jesus. Break the chains, oh God. Across America, yes. break the chains of God of addiction, yes. break the chains of God of perversion and lust, break the chains, Jesus. Break the chains, Jesus. Break the chains, Jesus. Break every single change in our lives, God. The ones that we see and the ones we do not see, God. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You can ask him right now. Yes, yes. You can ask him right now. God, the chains that I don't even know about, that you know about, God, that may be attached to me. I need you to break them, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I need you to break them, Lord. Sometimes we think we know it all, and God says you got some chains attached to you. You got some things attached to you. You got some baggage attached to you. Ask them to break every chain right now in your life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, we thank you right now in advance, God, for breaking the chains in our life, oh, God. We thank you for breaking the chains in our marriage. Oh, God. We thank you for breaking the chains of spiritual growth, oh, God. Oh, God, we thank you for breaking curses, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for breaking the chains we thank you, Lord, for breaking the chains of vanity and unrighteousness and impurities, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for breaking the chains of uncleanliness. Oh God. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for breaking the chains. Of poverty. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Spiritual poverty. Financial yes. poverty. Community poverty. We thank you, Lord, for breaking the chains. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Oh, oh, Jesus. You're faithful, Lord. Thank you. Break Jesus. every chain. Break oh, every chain. Lord. Thank you, God. Break thank you, every Jesus. chain. Hallelujah. So the elephant knows by uh, experience the parameter of how far he can reach out from the spike to the end of the chain that is attached to. And each time he gets out there, the chain yanks on him. So after a while, you can just take the chain off the elephant, and in his mind, it knows it can only go this far yes. in his mind. And the enemy has done that to us. For so many years, we've been in bondage and captivated by so many things mm -hmm. in our mind and in our heart and our life and we think God can't fix things or we think we can't go further. So therefore, we're like the elephant. We just know we can only go so, we only think we can only go so far. Yes. But we need to ask God to take us further. Yes. We need to ask God to take us higher. Yes. But we gotta ask God to remove that mental chain. Yes. Amen. Amen. That Amen. mindset, okay? There's a chain there or yes. several chains there and we believe what we, you don't have to accept what life is handed out to you. Yes. You don't have to accept that. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, you don't have to accept that. Thank you, Jesus. You don't 
have to accept of how the world perceive, perceives you. They only see the outside of you. People, doctors, family, friends, they only see the outside of you. They don't see, okay, that new creature on the inside. They don't see the power inside of you, that power, okay, that is greater inside of you than he that is in the world. They don't see that. But you got to know and act upon that power that is inside of you. The things you're going through, the power inside of you is greater than that. Yes. The things you yes. suffered this week, the power inside of you is greater than that. Amen. 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 How people judge you, think, hey, the power I have inside of me and what you say about me, the power inside of me is greater than what you're talking about me about. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Whoever tries to categorize you and frame you and put you in a box Okay? Including the enemy. The power you have inside you, you got to know is greater than that. The power inside of you is greater than COVID-19. Amen. <laughs> you got to know these things. Are you walking around just accepting stuff? I don't understand. We can't just walk around and accept some things. You gotta tap into that power. It's there. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The power inside of you is what's going to break every chain mm -hmm. and heal you and heal the church yes. and heal the nation Amen. and heal this globe. Thank that you, same Lord. power will take some to heaven with them. Thank you, Amen. Lord. That same power Jesus, inside of Jesus. you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's that same power that has kept you all these years. Uh, a man was sharing with me the other day uh, uh, that when he was growing up and he was out there running around, another man had put a gun to his head and the guy pulled the trigger, but the gun didn't go off. The gun did not go off. And then when he started wrestling with the guy with the gun, the gun fired. And it was like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. But now the man is saved. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now you realize it was God. That's right. That kept him. Amen. Even Thank as you, a sinner. Yeah. The power Jesus. of God even works in a sinner's life. For such a time as this, for an individual to be saved and redeemed as servants of God, we have to know the power that's greater than any of any external circumstance that's going on. Mm -hmm. yep. Amen. You've got to know this. Yes. The power inside of you is greater than anger, greater than an argument. Amen. <laughs> yes, it is. You got to know we got something greater. Whatever you, if somebody trying, hey, I got something greater inside of me. You go ahead with that. Mm -hmm. I got something greater inside of me. Amen. Amen. I ain't got time for that. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 32. Through 29 is where I'll be reading. Before we get started, let's pray. Dear loving Father, we thank you for your tender mercies and your grace, oh God. We thank you for the power that is inside of us from you, dear Lord. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you bless us to tap into that power, acknowledge that power, reside in that power. Amen. And love that power and exhibit that power that we may become attached, Lord, to our unique privileges that you have for us. We ask that you bless this service, bless the preaching and the teaching of your word. Give us ears to hear and hearts to receive in Jesus Christ's wonderful name. Amen. Amen. The title of the message is unique privileges. The scripture is familiar to some. 
to others, it may, they may not be familiar to them. Genesis chapter 32. And he rose up that night, talking about Jacob. Jacob had taken advantage of his brother Esau's weaknesses. He had taken advantage of his brother's Esau's weaknesses. That's what he has done. That's what he has done. He's taken advantage of him. He's, he's captivated his birthright. He's captivated his blessing. Amen? And now he has got a family. He has several wives, and he is traveling. And he rose up that night, and he knows he's going to face his brother. And took his two wives and his two woman servants and his eleven sons and passed over the four Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone. Jacob was going to face his brother, and his brother was upset with him about what Jacob had done in the past. And now Jacob's about to run to his brother after all these years. So Jacob is thinking that my brother is going to take my life. So Jacob separates his family, separates his goods. He gives offerings to some men to his service to take to Esau ahead of time. And Jacob was left alone here. Now being left alone, okay, when you have some fear or when you're scared, it's not a bad thing because God, okay, will now be able to get your attention. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. So Jacob, is he, he gets alone. He gets a hold of the Lord. He wrestles with the angel of the Lord. Amen. And so Jacob is not letting go, okay, of what he's going through at the time. He's not letting go. He knows somewhere inside of that wrestling match with the Lord, there is a unique privilege. And that is what he's trying to obtain at that moment. He's, he knows I need something different before uh, uh, what, when I face my brother. I need something different. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, the angel, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. God being nice to Jacob. I'm trying to get you to let me go. So he touched the angel, or touched his hot, the hollow of his thigh, and now it's out of, he's dislocated. There's got to be some pain. But Jacob knows there may be some more physical pain when he sees his brother. So Jacob is still holding on as he wrestled with him. Verse 26. And he said, the angel Lord said, let me go for the day breaking. Hey, we've been here all through the night and the day's breaking. Let me go for the day breaking. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Yes. His relationship with his brother is out of joint. Yes. Okay? Now his thigh is out of joint. Yes. Yes. And now he's trying to realign himself, okay, with the Lord so he can realign himself with the relationship of his brother. Mm -hmm. And he said to him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Mm -hmm. Amen. So God begins to transform his life. Amen. He touches the hollow of his thigh. He's out of joint. All of a sudden, he gets a name change. There is an internal transformation, okay, and a name transformation, amen, and it shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel for a prince. Oh, now he calls him a prince. For as a prince, he gives 
of my title as a prince, a ruler, a leader, one in charge, one with riches, spiritual riches. Hast thou power? Oh, and now he has power. So Jacob, this he's obtaining his blessing right then and there. And the angels make the declarations, you're a prince, amen, and has power with God. So, that power we have inside of us that we discussed earlier, okay, that same power Jacob has with God and with men. So, we got that same power with God, right? Then we have that same power with men and over men and has prevailed. You have overcome. Now, notice, in order for Jacob to face his brother, he had to face the Lord first. So anything that you're going through or may go through, face the Lord first. Get a hold of God first. Wrestle with God first. Wrestle with God for that unique privilege first. Before I get into this thing here on earth, I need something supernatural in my life to deal with this natural situation. And Jacob called thy name the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Now Jacob has some relief. He knows he came in contact with the Lord. Don't you get relief when you know you come in contact with the Lord, yes. and you know everything's going to be all right, and you know God is on your side? He says, my life has been preserved. For him yes. to say that... He was thinking that he was going to lose his life. My life has been preserved. Jacob had to face God first. Notice we have to face God first before we go before anything. It doesn't have to be confrontation. In the morning when you get up, first thing we should do is face God. Yes. Amen. Amen. And give God our first fruits. Yes. Amen. 10% of our of our faculties, our movement, our mind, our prayer life, our reading of the word. I don't need no coffee first. I need Jesus first. Yes, Somebody yes. said something one day, and I said, maybe you need to start reading before you start starting your day. And then you wonder why you've got so many conflicts because you decide, my devotion is not till 1030. You've been up since 6. <laughs> You've been up since 6 o'clock. Get old as God before. Yes, amen. You wonder why you busting and fighting already. You, <laughs> you wait for your devotion to come around. You ain't got a hold of God. Yeah, 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 I gotta face the Lord first. Jacob's mother saved him last time, right? He saved him last time when he when he uh she sent him away to her brother Laban after you know they, the deception took place, but now he needed some. Super, that was human intervention. Now Jacob needed some supernatural intervention. Mm -hmm. So take note. On earth, we have human intervention, and we have supernatural intervention. Mm -hmm. And we got to differentiate when we need the human intervention and the nat and supernatural intervention. But listen to this. We always need supernatural intervention. We always need that to take place in our life. Divine intervention is God's involvement in human affairs. Jacob said, Lord, I need you to get involved in this human affair that I have with my brother. I got a human situation. It involves humans. But I need you to get involved. And life will have that, right? Uncle to aunt. Cousin to to sister or brother, workers, things of that nature that you work with. But we need supernatural intervention to trump the human intervention. The Lord doesn't mind Jacob seeking him the same way for us. The Lord doesn't mind us seeking him just as well. The Bible says in Isaiah 55, 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Yeah. Jacob did that. He sought the Lord. He knew he was near. Something had to happen, but he had to get a 
alone. He had to get alone. Jacob was alone when he wrestled with God. Zechariah was alone when he learned that he was going to be the father of John the Baptist. Elijah was alone with God when God dealt with him. The same with David. David spent a lot of time with the Lord, alone with God. Look how many songs he wrote. He had to be alone with God and God blessing him with words of encouragement and words to move forward in his life on earth. We have to be alone with the Lord. Being alone with God strengthens your relationship with him and allows that relationship to grow deeper in Christ Jesus. When you spend time with God, you experience freedom to express yourself to God. See, we can't, as humans, we're too embarrassed or too shy or too reserved to express ourselves openly and freely to others because we may open up to them too much or feel like that. But with God, yes, we can open up to him freely, man, right? Yes, and express yes. to him freely Father, with no reserve. Yes. And he's not going to throw it back in our face. Right. And he's not going to use them as bullets in the gun That's and shoot right. back at us. Amen. He's not going to do this. We Thank can express Lord. ourselves to the yes. Lord. And Jacob did that. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting you go until you bless me. I didn't need to get a hold. And Jacob said, I don't need a hold of nobody else. Yes. I just need a hold of Jesus right now. Yes. I don't need my family nearby. I don't need my cattle nearby. I don't need all my possessions nearby. I don't need my service nearby. Yes. I don't need my brother nearby. I need Jesus right yes. now. I need Amen. the Lord right now. Yes. Amen. And being alone with God is a unique privilege. Yes, it is. So you create a unique situation for you when you get alone. Yes. With God. Amen. We have to create those. You pray today, oh, I forgot to pray. How you forget to pray? <laughs> How you forget to pray? <laughs> Matthew 6, 6 says, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Get a hold of God. Get that unique privilege. A lot of folks are missing out on the unique privilege. You wait for your stimulus check to come through, your second stimulus check. God is my stimulus. Yes, amen. He's going to stimulate my soul. Amen. 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 I want the unique privilege. Yes. I desire the unique privilege. I desire to go face to face with God yes. before I face any situation. And yes. I encourage you to do the same. It may not look right on paper, okay, but if you take it before God, I know a lady, she had a bunch of bills and a bunch of debt. Things just unfortunate things happened in her life. And she said. She laid at the altar and prayed over it before God. Yes. And God took care of everything. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes you got to lay it all out yes. on the line. But she didn't do it in front of people. She did it and got alone with God. Yes. Amen. You got to get alone with God. Alone with God. Yes. Give those first fruits in the morning. Jacob needed this unique privilege. And Jacob needed the Lord to release him a miracle. Now, I know I need a miracle. Yes. But I don't know what kind of miracle I need. How about let's add an S on that and make it plural. I need some miracles. Yes. God knows I need some miracles. We need some miracles. Yes. Amen. Amen. 
We need some miracles. Amen. We need miracles in the church. We need miracles in the yes. nation. Yes. Yes. Okay. We need, and we have access to these unique privileges. Thank you, Lord. It cost Jacob a name change. It cost Jacob his joint, his thigh being out of joint. It cost him some stress. It cost him some worry. But he had to fight. He had to get a hold of God. Yes. Now, the one time that I know is here is when God dealt with somebody and they didn't listen and they still got blessed. Mm. That was Jacob. Yes. The angel said, let him go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. No, I'm not letting you go. That's a mistake. Jacob said, that's not in my book. I'm not letting you go. You have something that I need. Yes. Sometimes we got to say, God, I I'm holding on. Yes. Sometimes we got to have that spirit like Jacob. I'm not going to let you go till you bless me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm not going to let you go, God, till this thing I'm healed, till I'm changed, yes. till I'm delivered, yes. till the change of yes. broken. I yes. can't let you go, God. That'll be a uh, mistake. Mm -hmm. I can't do it right now, God. I need some reassurance. Being alone with God is a unique privilege. And sometimes you have to trouble the master. Jacob troubled him. And I'm reminded of the Canaan woman who troubled Christ. Who troubled him. She cried to Jesus. She cried unto him saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Christ is there. Have mercy on me, O Lord, the son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. My daughter doesn't have the power of you on the inside. She has the power of something else on the inside. And I think and I know it's a devil. She's doing things out of character. She's doing things that just don't seem Christ-like. But he answered her, not a word. He ignored her. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away. For she cried after us. Now, she wasn't crying after them. She was crying after Jesus. But see that them fellas said, we rolling with Christ. I guess they cried after us too. No, she was crying after Christ. But you know how it is. <laughs> you had the lead singer, and they cried for that fella. But we part of the band. You think all the people are crying for you too. <laughs> They're not crying for you. They're crying for the lead singer. Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him. She didn't give up. Now this is a, Jacob had a physical wrestling match. This is a verbal wrestling match. She asks for help. He ignores her. Then she worshipped him. And saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. This is not what I should be doing here. And she said, Truth, Lord. She humbles herself. And she's in agreement with them on that portion of words that he had spoken. Yes. But she didn't give up. Amen. She needed a unique privilege for her daughter. She interceded. Somebody I know needs some help. Yes. And we have to go to the master yes. ourselves. Yes. Yes. The lady, the daughter wasn't able to. She possessed yes. with the devil. She probably couldn't even say two words or move. Her mind was locked. Her body was locked. She was possessed.
So somebody had to step in. And, you know, in this world, you and me, okay, may have to step in and intercede for somebody Amen. that the enemy has attached chains to, all right, and we may have to worship him. And we may have to cry out to him. And we may have to say, Lord, help me. Because yes. when you help them, Lord, you're yes. helping me. I get some rest. I get That's some peace. Right. Right. I feel at ease because you touch their soul. She wasn't going to settle. See, you don't have to settle for the condition. Jacob wasn't going to settle for the condition he was in, and she wasn't going to settle for the condition her daughter was in. Yes. So directly or applying to somebody else, you don't have to settle for that condition. She said, truth, Lord, if the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table, she said, there's something inside that you got. Give me the crumbs. She said, give me the bare minimum. She said, give me where the dogs eat out. I'll go low as you go. Just give me some of the crumbs you got inside of you. I need that unique privilege. I know you got it. I'm worshiping you. I'm asking you for help. I'm crying to you. And I need my daughter to be touched. It's almost like she called herself a dog. But she made the analogy humbly Oh God. And what did Christ say next? Then Jesus answered and said to her, O oh woman, great is thy faith. You got some great inside of you, it is faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. He rejected her several times during this. Sometimes God will push us away. That's right. And don't push us away again. And maybe the third or fourth time. But once she got him to speak, yes. he kept on talking. Mm -hmm. First he ignored her. Mm -hmm. Then he talked. And then he talked again. Oh, we, 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 we're going somewhere now. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. That very hour, change came. Unique privileges. Unique privileges. Yes. We have access to unique privileges. We have to get a hold of him. Sometimes it may be a wrestling with the Lord. And sometimes it may be a discourse, a conversation with the Lord. Canaanite woman shows humility and faith by saying, if the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Her prayer request was answered. You can have yours answered just as well. Don't leave this place here. As brother begins to play softly, don't leave this place here without asking the Lord for your unique privilege. And maybe it's just not for you. Maybe God wants you to ask it for somebody else. Maybe there's somebody else that is vexed and bothered. And they need the blessing. I don't know what side you're on. The receiving side? Or do you need to intercede for somebody else that they may be set free? That God will open up a door in their life. Wrestle with the Lord right where you're at, right in your mind, right in your heart, right in your seat, as you're online, where you stand, in the kitchen, in the bedroom, in the living room. Wrestle with the Lord right now and receive your unique privilege. Worship him right where you're at. Put whatever down you got in your head and worship him. Get a hold of him. Let it be unique in your life. He's loaded with these privileges and he just wants to bless you. Bless you. They're supernatural. Hallelujah.
They're supernatural. Thank you, Lord. It's divine intervention. It's divine intervention. This world needs divine intervention. This church needs divine intervention. The souls here need divine intervention for the Lord. We as a people on earth need divine inter intervention every day. Yes, Lord. Lord, open up the door. Make a way, dear God, to these unique privileges. He says, I already have. I've given you my son, Jesus Christ. The same yesterday, today, and forever. I've given you the unique Thank privilege you, and access to other unique privileges. Thank now it's up to you Thank to you. trouble me. Now it's up to you to wrestle with me. Now it's up to you to sup with me and conversate with me. Now it's up to you to seek me. Jacob's life was saved from destruction and defended from evil. Jacob's life was preserved and your life can be preserved also. Unique privileges are coming your way. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus for unique privileges right now. For the members in this church, those that are here in attendance, and those not here in attendance, dear Lord. I thank you in advance for the unique privileges, oh God, across the globe and in my future, God, as I walk with you and you walk with me, yes, God. Thank I thank you, God, for the unique privileges in my life's life and her family's life and my daughter's life and my son's life. I thank you, Lord, for the unique privileges, oh God and the members here, and their families, and their children, and their cousins, and their uncles, and anybody in their lineage, dear Lord. God, I ask you for unique privileges in our households, dear Lord. Amen. Unique privileges. Protection, provision, preservation. Allow God to bless you, my friend. These altars are open. Wrestle with God right now. Wrestle with him right now. Talk to him right now. Speak to him right now. Yes. 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 He may put something out of joint. Oh, but you'll get your blessing. He may change some things in your life, but you'll get the blessing that you need. Don't leave here, my friend, without touching the hem of his garment. Don't leave here, my friend, without touching the hem of his garment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Allow him to dry up that which has kept you in chains a good portion of your life. Bless you is my prayer.
sing that. Let's all stand. Jesus Christ. Make him your Lord and Savior. Give him a like. Give him a comment. Subscribe to that kingdom, that heavenly kingdom, and receive your unique privileges. Amen. Amen. May God receive. Bless you. You are dismissed as we're about to sing. Bless you is my prayer.